What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Machiavelli, and I'm back with another reaction video, man. Hope you guys have been having a blessed and safe week, man. It's the end of the week. It's the weekend. But we got none other than Saiguru himself. You won't believe this. Saiguru confesses he is lazy. I find this very hard to believe. What you guys think? Do you guys think this is a clickbait? I find it very hard to believe because all the advice he gives. Well, anybody can give you some advice and be a guru on something and still not, you know, um, honor that same thing that they preach to everybody else in the world. So, but we about to find out, man. So without further ado, let's get it. I have really no need for action. I'm not trying to keep myself busy. I said, my dream is the day I'm unemployed. That's a great day. If the planet needs work, if the world needs work, we will do it. Otherwise, why should I think this is my work? You're obviously doing something that you don't want to do. If there is something that you really want to do, will you postpone it or prepone it? <laughs> I'm asking, why the hell are you doing something that you don't want to do? No, because if I do this, I will get that, I will get that. That's not the point. There's nothing to get in this life. It could greatly reverse the aging process, which we have in many ways documented through various scientific research and medical universities recording this. But overall, well, I'm the living proof. Being active does not mean you are doing what is required. It is mainly something you choose to do based on the situation or fulfill your desires. You might not be as active as you were ten years ago, but that does not mean you have become lazy. In this video, Satguru explains why he claims to be I'm not gonna lie, man. Now that he mentions that, <coughs> age plays a part in it too. You guys believe it or not, man, like the same energy you guys had 10 years ago, you guys don't have that now. Believe it or not. You know, it may not feel like it body-wise or physically, but like your body is getting older every single day, every single week, every single month, not just every year. You know what I'm saying? So your body is slowly deteriorating over the course of time. As I'm talking right now, my body is deteriorating and becoming older. You know what I mean? And that's how it is for everybody. I don't think a lot of people grasp that concept, you know? That's a very important thing. You know, you guys need to think about that, bro. Because, you know, I never thought like 10 years ago, I'd be thinking like today, damn. I feel like I'm sometimes I'm getting around like I'm 30. Back then, you know, like you don't think about that when you're very young. You don't think about that until you're at the age where, like, damn, I'm starting to wake up with certain pains or certain areas or whatever, you know? Be lazy in how he still manages to do what needs to be done. Watch and evaluate what you are doing right now. But see, that's the whole thing. I'm sorry to keep pausing you guys, but that's the whole thing. Like, when you're lazy and you don't want to do something, but you do it anyway, you're disciplined. Like, you as a grown woman or a grown man you know what you have to do you know what's needed to be done so you're not about to sit up here and let your own physical minds you know mindset or or how your body feels or how sluggish you feel or because it's raining outside because i know a lot of people say because it's raining outside they may feel a little sluggish a little lazy stay at home type of day and watch movies this that and the third but if it's something that you know you need to do and you're that disciplined type of person, no weather, no headache is going to stop you from doing it. There's going to be a lot of things in life that you don't want to do, but it needs to be done. If life demands, people ask me, Sadhguru, how are you active like this? Because generally my schedule is anywhere between 18 to 20 hours a day, seven days of the week, 365 days, non-stop. For many years, it's going on. Bye, bye, bye. So, people keep asking, how do you keep yourself like this, how do you do this? See, I'm essentially lazy. It's just that 
the situation in the world demands action. Left to myself, I would close my eyes and simply sit. I'm made like this, if I close my eyes, I can sit like this till I fall dead. I didn't actually think, like I said in the beginning of the video, you guys, I didn't actually think you would actually admit to it. I thought it was, it was clickbait, you know. But at the same time, I never known him to clickbait anything. Let me take that back. <laughs> I was so busy talking. It's just that the situation in the world demands action. Wait, 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 wait. Left to myself, I would close my eyes and simply sit. My schedule is anywhere between 18 to 20 hours a day, seven days of the week, 365 days, non-stop. For many years, it's going on. Why, why, why? So, people keep asking, how do you keep yourself like this? How do you do this? See, I'm essentially lazy. It's just that the situation in the world demands action. Left to myself, I would close my eyes and simply sit. I'm made like this, if I close my eyes, I can sit like this till I fall dead. Really. Here's one thing you need to do before you buy anything online. Don't spend another dime on Amazon until you watch this first. I have really no need for action. I'm not trying to keep myself busy. There's a lot to be done, so you're doing. People ask me, Sadhguru, what's your dream? What is your dream? I said, my dream is the day I'm unemployed. That's a great day. Because if I'm unemployed, it simply means everybody is doing fantastic. What more do you want? Dream fulfilled. So, action is not something that you decide. You just decide your intent. Action, the world will decide how much of what. I… I'm, you know, at these economic forums and stuff, I'm at the Eco World Economic Forum. This guy in front of business schools in Harvard Business School, one professor comes, Oh, you're that amazing tree planter? I said, No, I'm not a tree planter. <laughs> he said, No, no, you planted <coughs> those millions of trees. Yes, I did, but I'm not a tree planter. <laughs> he asked me, Then what do you do? I said, uh, I make people flower, not plant trees, but I'm planting trees because the goddamn trees are missing where they should have been. Where they should have been, they are not there. It's like this, two men were working on the street. One man is digging pits, behind him another man is coming and closing and closing and going. Somebody else was driving by. They saw this ridiculous activity. One guy digs the pit, another guy closes the pit. So they stopped and said, Hey, what are you doing here? Why are you guys working like this? One guy digging, another guy closing. They said, No, no. Uh, the in-between guy has gone and leave, he's the tree planter <laughs> He's not there, we're doing our work. So a lot of people are doing work like this, I'm doing my work. You have no work on this planet. If the planet needs work, if the world needs work, we will do it. Otherwise, why should I think this is my work? Sadhguru, what's your mission? I said, no mission, I'm just fooling around a bit <laughs> because you have no business to have your own mission. Life has its own mission. In some way, if you can assist and serve that, that's about it. What is it that you have your own mission? Are you some kind of a tyrant? All missionaries are tyrants in some way, unknowingly. Yes, those who think they have a mission, there is no mission. What is needed, you do. You must see how to make life better, how to solve situations, which are... I think if people understood this philosophy, I think people would be a lot less stressed and more happy and more um, exposed to, how can I say this? Exposed to like a light at the other end of the tunnel. You know what I mean? Like, because let's be honest, like when we think that we have a mission or our mission is this and we try to make or we try to make our mission this, it becomes... I'm in a race for time, I'm grinding, 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 not taking no breaks. Um, but if you just do what is needed and not try to set your own, but then it's kind of like a catch-22 because some people's missions are something that they might want to accomplish. There's nothing wrong with that. Damn.
it kind of could go both ways. I hate saying that, man. I, I hate saying that. But I do understand what he is saying. You know, and what I'm saying is, if everybody looked at life like that, people would be so much happier. The problematic to a whole lot of people. See? You must look for solutions and solutions for the existing situations. Mm -hmm. And of course, there are experts who go on creating new problems. So you will never be short of problems, believe me. You just have to create solutions, not go on a mission mode. Hi, dropshippers. It's time to focus <laughs> on what you do best. So go to Wix.com. Now you have a much better idea of what is needed than what is being done. But do you have enough information about when to do the right thing? And how do you know if it's the right thing you are doing? Here is Satguru's answer to these questions. See, uh, if you're postponing something, you're obviously doing something that you don't want to do. If there is something that you really want to do, will you postpone it or prepone it? You'd be having it ready Hello? or doing it before, you know. Do you see somebody is waiting for someone they badly want to see? Only ten minutes. In the ten minutes they will look at the watch twenty-five times. Why? They want to prepone it. You're doing something that you don't want to do, so you want to postpone it. I'm asking why the hell are you doing something that you don't want to do? No, because if I do this, I will get that, I will get that. That's not the point. There's <coughs> nothing to get in this life. Sorry, I'm still a little sick, but I'm getting better though. But that's what I always say too, like, don't ever think about the outcome, man. Because the as long as you're thinking about the outcome and the end result, you'll never enjoy the process of what you're going through right now. And that's with anything in life. That's what anything in life, man, it doesn't matter what it is. It becomes, you know, whether it's your, something that's your nine to five or if it's something that's your dream or whatever it is, man, whatever lane that you're in in life, apply what I'm saying and what he's saying to that. Because as long as you're thinking about the end result, the fruits of your labor, You'll never be able to enjoy what you're going through now, which may be a rocky road to get to that point. Then by that time, it ends up being at that point. It's nothing but like how we say, like if it's something that you don't like. You're going to postpone. You're going to. Uh, what's the word? That's another word beside po besides postpone. It's. um. When you keep putting something off and not postponing, but it's like you're um not neglecting either, not avoiding. I forgot the damn word, man, but that's what that is. Like you're constantly just like, ah, 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 and you're not, you know, because you don't have the feel for it. There's really nothing to get in this life. Either you lived this life in a profound and intense manner or you did not. What will you get in the end? Huh? They will either bury us or burn us. That's all will happen in the end. You think something else, they'll give you a prize? Nothing will happen in the end. Only thing is the process of life. How wonderfully did you live? That's all there is. The process. So if you are doing something really wonderful, do you want to prepone it or postpone it? Huh? Prepone only. So you must. Exactly. Like nobody is gonna do something that they, like you really want to do this or you really want to get this done. You're gonna be anxious to do it or to get it out there or to drop it, release it, whatever. You know, you're not gonna be like, ah, oh, I'll do it next week. Ah, do and then when the next, then when that week comes, you're like, ah, I'll do it the week after. Then when that week comes, ah, I'll do it the other. Stop. It's fine. What is it that you really want to do? If you find that one thing, you will always prepone everything, not postpone. Yep. Just knowing what to do and when to do it 
might not just cut it. It would be best if you had more assistance from your body to continue the work. Mm. Here are four simple tips from Satguru. That's another thing too. A lot goes into this, man, because there's a lot of times where your mind and you really want to do something, you really want to get it out there, you really want to, you know, pre-pwned it. But your body, it doesn't give you the drive. Your, your mindset is saying one thing, but your body is saying another. No. that can get you up and running in the right direction. Mm -hmm. Have a look. Ojas uh, means it's a non-physical dimension of energy. If sufficient ojas hangs around you, you're well lubricated. You'll pass through the world effortlessly. You will see for some people, passage through this world is terribly difficult. For some people, wherever they go, they will pass through smoothly. Have you seen this? You yourself, on a certain day, it looks like the whole world is cooperating with you. On another day, the whole world seems to be standing up against you. Have you noticed this? If you create enough ojas, then you will pass through the world smoothly. If you generate sufficient ojas to wrap every cell in your body with this, well, you will not only be healthy, you will be bouncing healthy. It could greatly reverse the aging process, which we have in many ways documented through various scientific research and medical universities recording this. But overall, well, I am the living proof. <laughs> that health is not something that you worry about, health is not some kind of diagnostics for you that you are healthy, it is a way of keeping life in an overflowing sense of exuberance. <coughs> That's so, a good tip. Bill he said this uh, quite a few times in other reaction videos. Honey is a very important substance when it comes to a meal or a drink. It's very important to have that, man. You guys would be surprised how much, you know, <laughs> your brain functions and you how much energy you get when it comes to honey. Yeah, that, that's, that's facts. Eating oxygen into the blood is one of the important things because how healthy the body is, how easily it rejuvenates itself depends on a high level of oxygen in the blood. And that capability will go down, particularly women have to be careful on this because of the biological process, that their hemoglobin content may go down and their ability to carry oxygen in the blood will come down, which will make them unnecessarily exhausted, will make them look unintelligent and uh, yes, if the… if the RBC is low, you feel dumb because there's not enough oxygen in the brain and it doesn't function the way it needs to function, both the body and the brain. So, uh, to take care of this, one of the simple things is you consume a little bit of honey in warm water on a daily basis and uh, you will see slowly the RBC content will go up. If there's more oxygen in the blood, suddenly you feel a burst of energy, suddenly everything is active, the rejuvenation system in the body is going up, the dead cells are being replaced quickly. The level of inertia that you feel in the body is much lower, the level of inertia that you feel in your mind is much lower. Want to join the Six Figure Club? Google and other tech companies are hiring hundreds of thousands of workers in What the neem does to your system? Well, in more tangible terms, one immediate thing it will do is, it will keep your elementary tract clean. So within this elementary tract, there are a whole host of microorganisms. Many of them have turned friendly to us. We are living because of them, we are able to digest food because of them. Many, many functions in the body happen because of them. 
but still there are many who are harmful to us. The uniqueness of neem, especially when it is taken along with turmeric, if these two things go together, largely those things which are not necessary for the body, those things can… that which can harm the body, any kind of parasital life which is there, all these things get eliminated. You can keep this body like breeze, simply it goes ahead of you, you don't have to drag it wherever you go, it must <coughs> float ahead of you. You can keep it like that with a little bit of yogic practice, very little, I'm saying. If you invest twenty, thirty minutes a day upon your well-being, you can do this, just putting the right kind of fuel. I'm t not telling you eat this way, eat that way, just experiment and see, all right? Just experiment and see. Tonight if you go, instead of eating whatever cooked food, just eat fruits and see, tomorrow morning you will not need an alarm bell, you will wake up before the alarm bell. Yeah. What you should do is, That's today right, you too. start ten percent natural food, fruits, vegetables, mm -hmm. whatever. Tomorrow make it twenty percent, thirty percent, like this, in nine days you'll eat hundred percent. Then you bring it down. Stay in hundred… if you have any physical ailment, stay there for five to seven days. If you're a healthy person, stay there for one or two days and then cut it by ten percent every day, bring it down to fifty percent and hold it there and see, for most people it'll work at its best. If you want little more or less, you can adjust it accordingly. This is something you have to find your own rhythm within yourself. This is how Satguru has never failed to do what is expected of him. You can also become more efficient and reliable once you follow these tips. If you are new to our channel, here's a video that might interest you. And tell us what you would like to know more about in the comments section. Do not forget to hit the like button on your way to the next video. Thank you for watching and subscribe to our channel for more. See you in another path breaking video. Dope, man. Dope. Dope. I've been. <clears throat> this will be the next one I'll probably make to or the one after or something. But yeah, man, if you guys like this video, man, give it a fat thumbs up. Like, comment, share. Mike Valley Gang, we up out of here, man. I love you guys, man. You guys have a blessed one and a safe one. I'm going to catch you guys on the next one. Peace.